So, referring back to the video that I made, Muhammad exists, Muhammad, Islam, Muslims, and the non-religion. We see in the external references, the ones that I mentioned from Persia, China, Egypt, Byzantine Empire, various different groups of people who didn't talk to each other. They describe what's going on and they mention these these attackers are coming. They call them Saracens. Um, and they're it's just piracy. They're not really even attacking the cities. Um, and that they give themselves over to prostitution and enslaving people and just slaughtering people for no reason. They just kill, rape, and steal. And they seem to have no value for uh, well, human life, one, or women. They just rape anybody who they want. They'll rape nuns. Um, I think it's about the first 150 years uh, wherever these people are coming. And <clears throat> you get positive views of them saying, well, they're fine because, yeah, they take half of everything that we have, but they'll allow us to worship as we do. And that's coming from the Nestorians. Or the Jews will see them kind of hopefully because one thing they notice is that they're clearing off the Temple Mount. Um, but they're, they tear down churches, they do all this kind of stuff. But the one thing we don't hear of them is we don't see the name Muslim. It's either Saracen, Hagarin, or Taeya. Or there would be these things that are loo loosely translated Muhammad. Or when they're when they're translated translated as Muhammad, but they're not Muhammad. Just like Taeya, Hagarin, Saracen, Ishmaelite, that gets translated as Muslim. Well, it's it's just not. I mean, that's modern eyes looking back into it, hoping to find something. Um, they hold off from attacking Jerusalem for a while, but they slaughter any Christian pilgrims trying to come to the. Uh, trying to come to the to Bethlehem Sophronius uh, writes of this and uh, it's just basically mayhem and chaos people think it's the end of the world because these people it, they they're for all intents and purposes just barbarians and uh, and mentions of a living prophet uh, well, Muhammad was supposed to have died um, years and sometimes even decades when they're talking about this prophet that's coming or this guy who's claiming to be a prophet. And um, as I said before, uh, Sibios, who he mentions um, Muhammad apparently, but Muhammad was supposed to have been dead by then and historians don't know how much they can trust he's the one that said this is this is coming from the the Jews that had been expelled after they they revolted and they went into the desert and they taught the um, the Arabs some of their belief systems and then they came back and attacked the funny thing is, is that the holy city for these people who are ruling the Islamic world will be the Islamic world for the first 150 years their holiest city is Damascus and they have a shrine to John the Baptist there and it still exists to this day and their coins have um, the beheaded John the Baptist crosses on as well crosses pictures of Jesus all this stuff is anathema in, in the Islam of Muhammad that we know today um, and they didn't use the word Islam and they didn't know that they were Muslims. They were practicing Hagarinism or Muhammadism. Muhammadism being that Jesus was the servant of God, but not the son of God. Uh, and it gets stranger and stranger. And you're right when you say, you look into this, it's just oddities and, and you can't make heads or tails of it. It's nothing like the picture we get from, I mean, look at, Look at the first 150 years of um, after the death of Jesus. We've got plenty of stuff. Or, I mean, first 
200 years after Muhammad's death versus 200 years after Christ's death. And and also the, the gap gets wider when you see that there was an empire formed immediate or supposedly an empire formed at the death of Muhammad, you know, expanding out to even the, his companions uh, all the way to Ali. And we see no evidence for this. Jesus was just a you know, ragtag bunch of guys and who were uh, were trying to keep secret uh, certain things so they weren't so they wouldn't be killed. So it gets stranger and stranger. Um, very hard to piece together. But yeah, nobody mentions that they. Uh, they one thing they see is they don't really have, they don't recognize them as having a new religion or even a different religion. They make no mention of a religion. They make no mention of the Quran until hundreds of years later. Even the Muslim sources say, you know, it was in such and such a date that they brought the Quran, and it's the first time we've ever seen this thing called the Quran. And that was, oh, what, 100, 100 years? In, and people are saying you, you, you're just seeing this now 